and 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 i'm alive <laughs> i think i said and one time before i was actually alive but now i am um getting my phone all set up i don't know if anybody's here yet so i'm just gonna do that <clears throat> get my messages ready okay it says all messages too but i don't see any messages there <laughs> or or a chat count <laughs> okay am i here oh no i see a chat count okay good yay <laughs> concern me for a minute there so hello <laughs> whoever's here it's always awkward at the very beginning for me I never know what to say so fix my camera a little hi Lori good to see you I almost coughed <clears throat> excuse me sorry about that gosh must be like dry throat anxiety or something <laughs> before a show Hello, Lillian. Good to see you. Um, I today I'm doing a um, it's it's all books or like pamphlets type deals um, for crafting. So it's a it's a vintage crafting. Like vintage crafting crafting books. <laughs> so it's like they're both there goes my chat again. So um, that's what it's all about. Some of them are in in um, packets. So it's like a group of uh, pamphlets and you'll see things that go together. Um, logically with these crafting books and some of them are priced individually oh it's um <laughs> it's actually uh lobsters wearing top hats <laughs> lobsters wearing top hats um it's actually it might be a pajama top i'm not sure but i was like you know maine i gotta i gotta get this shirt <laughs> just pair it with a with a, a red tank top and <laughs> But, um, you know, it's just kind of running joke with the main girls having the lobsters. So, <laughs> but the top hats, though, that was what really got me. I, I might not have gotten it if it had just been lobsters, but the top hats. Um, so, <laughs> <clears throat> I feel like I have a hair. I don't think I do. I haven't th that new uh, ring light. And I'm, I don't think I'm used to it. I think I put it up too high. It's weird. It's, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm like seeing things that I'm not seeing. It's because I'm looking at the light and then looking down and I'm seeing that bright light that you see when you look at a light. <laughs> so I need to stop looking at it. It's not in the right position. I don't know if I can really change it right now. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I will be doing um, a, I believe I will be having a sale next week if everything goes according to plan. Uh, next Thursday, I will be having a, a regular craft sale. A craft supply sale i should say and it will be um kind of more out of the ordinary craft supplies some regular ordinary craft supplies um <clears throat> as much vintage uh craft supplies i'm trying to put together i'm still trying to do it i'm putting together these little lots of, and i'll show you of maybe things that didn't sell but then they fit good with this little idea that i have so here's one that i have going right now and it's a craft lot and so like this teacup i couldn't i couldn't get it to sell for anything um but <clears throat> i wanted to put it sorry i see a hair this is a, a book cover that's just very gothic looking there's some neat um like edging i don't exactly what you call that uh, type of material but it's just edging for draperies and things like that and then i have like some really soft vintage lace in here um and it just kind of has like a gothic kind of feel a little bit some sparkly things in here too so i'll be doing like little kits like this um next week as well as regular craft supplies but just thought it was really fun to put these together <clears throat> i have an itch on my nose hi kathy good to see you did you see this did i did you get to see this and i keep finding a hair there got it <laughs> that's the, the plague of having long hair <laughs> Um, so yeah, I'll be having, I'll be having other ones, uh, and other themes going too. I love doing things like this. This is, I love this. So, <clears throat> so, um, <laughs> and again, it was very last minute that I, um, kind of scheduled my sale. I don't want that to fall out. There we go. Okay. So 
I think I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I don't know, this is very kind of a very specialized kind of sale, but um, it's the same old spiel as always. Um, I invoice either Friday or Saturday. Um, rarely I might invoice uh, on a Thursday, but it, it, you know, it's usually Friday or Saturday. And as long as I just get paid over the weekend and that I can ship Monday, it would be awesome. And then um, I can go ahead and, um, you know, plan for, plan on for the next sale without having to worry about what's left behind from the last sale. Um, oh, hi, Marcy. Good to see you. <clears throat> Here I am. I'm still looking at StreamYard and my phone, and I really should depend more on StreamYard because I can see, but my phone's faster. <laughs> so um, anyway, I this is a kind of a, I don't know if I've done an all book sale yet. I don't feel like I have. I'm not sure. But um, the one on my cover uh, is a Singer sewing machine, and it's the colors are so mod, and the design it's like it's mod, but it, it's mid mod, but it's mod like like Twiggy like that era. And I absolutely love it. Oh, okay, Kathy. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me know. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. And I don't know if I should go in order or because this I don't know if I have this in order. But anyway, let's just get started. So um, the first lot I have is going to be um, starting at five. So I'll put that in really quick here. Start at five. And it's um, it's embroidery. Well, I'll show you. It's they all just kind of go together. And they're all vintage and they're fun to look at. So this is embroidery, including transfers. Little um, little um, what am I trying to say? Little embroidery book, I guess. <laughs> Pamphlet, magazine. I don't know what to call this. Here's the back. Little sweet little pictures there. Um, so let me go get some good pictures here. Look. So cruel duck, elephant, and all these other animals that you can do on your children's clothing. Really, really sweet illustrations in here. And if you're, I mean, if you're into crafting even a little bit, I mean, I can cross stitch. I could probably learn to cruel, <clears throat> excuse me, learn how to cruel stitch. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> that sounded funny. Um, so there's things like this project here for this apron. It'd be really fun to do this just as a, if you're a part of a crafting, you know, a crafting um, group on YouTube or whatever, to pick one of these that maybe everybody could do. Look, there's a pattern in there. Um, and uh, I'll do it together. It'd be really fun. Lily of the Valley. That's one of my favorite flowers there. Love Lily of the Valley. So there's that one. And also in this lot, you get the doilies book, which... I like because I still, I still, I'm not positive. I know the, the difference between tatting. Here's a crochet, knit, hairpin, lace, and tatted. So this is almost a reference, a reference manual here. But um, so inside it just shows the different types of, of uh, patterns that they would do and how they would use them as decor. Find another good one here. Whoops. Well, it's it's all black and white in this one, so it's so. Uh, but the what I like the most though is the one here with the pansies around the edge. It was really sweet on that one. And then this is my favorite one in the lot: uh, lace craft lustra wear. Um, I don't even know if they make this stuff. <laughs> so there's these really fun things on the inside. Hi Stephanie, no worries, no worries. I just got started. Um, so you can make these things with this plastic that, uh, this looks like fun. I, I, this looks like a lot of fun to me. And I don't know if I've ever seen like a, a craft book for this. Um, oh, hi Kim. How good. How are you? Thank you for coming. Uh, and there's that Christmas tree. I don't know that I would do this around my bulbs. It seems like it's not very safe, even though it says safe. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> um, the, the dolls, the dolls. Look at this. Look at <laughs> it's like a pumpkin. I think this is like so much fun. Um, oops, I'm gonna do this really quick. Uh, right, oops, that's not the one, but that was cool to have up there too. <laughs> there we go. Um, so anyway, there's plenty of other. Look at this. Look at the purse. Oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> I just think it'd be a blast to try to make this stuff if I if they make this material still. I think I could find it somewhere. All sorts of things. And then finally, 
um, handkerchief edgings. Uh, so again, if you're into, I almost ripped it. <laughs> if you're into um, just the patterns, if you're looking for a certain kind of pattern or, you know, want to know what the patterns are called, because this will even tell you, I think. Yeah, like star tatting, you know, it, it tells you, it tells you what it is. So, and also, I think these are really, I mean, if you want to, it's good for um, junk journaling too. If you want to go gothic with your junk journaling and use this as a border or something. Oh, I know. Isn't that part so cute? Oh, it was adorable. <laughs> so, you know, I, I hate the idea of these being taken apart, but they could be used for that sort, sort of thing. So that was um, starting at five. Anybody was interested for the, the lot of uh little I don't have to call them magazines or they show you how to or do they show you how to do it um in the in it, in all of them or just the last one I'll check the last one um like this one is more like you know what you're doing type of one um let's see this one the with well, the plastic one just making sure I'm reading it right. Yeah, it, the directions seem pretty straightforward. I just kind of cut here, turn there. Oh, thank you, Lori. I see you. <laughs> um, definitely instructions in that one. And I think the other ones are a little bit more just for, well, yeah, like if you know how to do this, there's directions in that one as well. So, all right. I'm going to pop these back in the bag and start counting it down after that. I, I come across these, you know, and I just, I hate to see them go <laughs> somewhere. They just, they're lovely and they're vintage. And so I'm really glad that you guys have the same appreciation for these things I do. So I'm going to go ahead and count it down. And I know I always say that, but it's really true. <laughs> I just, I hate to see things, nice things just get, Going to landfill <laughs> and going once and going twice and last call and sold to Lori. Thank you so much, Lori. Four or five dollars. All right. Awesome. <clears throat> All right. There's that tickle again. One moment. Okay, so the next one I have, let me make sure I have this is right too. Yes, it is. This is also starting at five, so I'm just going to leave it on the screen. This is a lot of baby knitting stuff, books, things like that. So if you know how to knit or if you want to use the imagery in these, because some these are really adorable. So I'm going to go through these. <laughs> some of them are kind of, you know, flimsy and falling apart like this first one here. But um, so... It shows you <clears throat> what do I want to cough. <clears throat> so like this one in particular, like you can see it's been like the, how old the tape is that's holding it together, but it's showing the little, the little outfits and things. Oh, there goes my chat on my phone again. There we go. Um, and you know, and the instructions have really, really cute illustrations. If that's what you'd rather have this for, uh, these really adorable baby. <laughs> baby illustrations here um this one you know is a little harder to show it like i said this one's worse for wear but um it's just telling you how to make all the different little sweater patterns in that one this one is along the same lines it's kind of a <laughs> a little worse for wear but the pictures are so sweet and um you know if you can do the patterns or if oh my gosh look at this look at that <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, oh, I'd wear that. I'd totally wear that. This is cute. <laughs> See, this is why these, these can't go away because there's these darling little children in here. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but just seeing these old little outfits and things, I think they're really precious. So I shouldn't be spending so much time on each and every one, but I think they're really sweet. And it gives you ideas too for what you can, what you can do with your little outfits okay so next one is this one's a little worse for wear as well but it's 
baby's book knit and crochet as you can see there's this weird mark there but um this is a little bit more modern but has some cute little patterns in it <laughs> um let's see so let's see let me find a cute one well they've got blankets in here um but it's an example of the things you can make <laughs> i love the pom-poms they're so cute uh, let's see if I can find one more and then I'll go to the next one here. <laughs> the expression on this little, this little one's face is <laughs> cute. So it really is just knitting patterns if you know anyone who knits or you knit yourself. And there's another one and a little bit more modern uh, but cute little choo-choo train, you know, on the front there. And I love these pastels. <clears throat> uh, I think they're really sweet. This is a very much more simple, just basic instruction, instructions one. Um, we have, I can get it out of there, it's stuck in there, caps for kids, so little instructions for knitting hats for children. <laughs> Look at her, she's so cute. <laughs> she's so happy. Um, and again, it's more basic, just, you know, with instructions inside. <clears throat> My favorite out of this lot, though, and I always pick these up, I love, love, love Bernat magazine covers. Um, they're very minimal, but at the very mid-century, um, look at the, I just love the color on this. I love the lamb and the, how the baby's interacting. It's on the back too. Um, uh, honestly, just for display, even in a nursery, I just think it'd be so sweet. Um, and of course there's little, um, uh, I keep saying little, of course there's instructions here on how to make these outfits. Oh. God, just to dry, dress your child like she's from the 50s. <laughs> oh my gosh. Or whatever era this is from. Here's a great combination of baby pictures. <laughs> just really sweet, really sweet pictures. And then I have another burnout one, and that's it in this lot. So I'm stuck. Again, really cute little babies on the front there and back. I won't show it too long because who knows with the YouTube's little things. Um, this one's a little different with how it's displaying the clothing, but it's this way and this one. It's not on any children. <laughs> kind of a fun background, though. Like if you were making some sort of, um, I don't know, like if you had some sort of uh, baby shower type of thing. I don't know. It'd just be kind of a fun background. You can make a sign out of it or something. <laughs> I don't know. I try to think of some re use for these things that um, would make sense. But that one picture, though, looked like it could be used. Anyway, so that is all on that lot. And that was starting at five. Um, and so we're going to move on. Let's pop these back in. Baby pictures are so cute. <laughs> Trying not to be noisy with that. All righty. This needs to go over here. <laughs> All right. Up next. <laughs> I'm just getting through the lots, basically. <laughs> so here, this is a knitting lot. And this one, I think I have. Actually, I have this one starting. I'm going to start this one at five, too. I'm going to leave it at five. I had a different number, but I'm going to start it at five. This one actually has a nylon circular knitting needle included in it. <clears throat> Excuse my throat clearing here. So it's actually a really pretty little vintage thing. Um, left right on the card as it is. So, but it is circular knitting, which I think you make Christmas stockings with these or regular stockings, if I'm not mistaken, that would make sense. So that's part of it. If there's a year on that or not. No, but definitely vintage. So we have, I'm going to go through these more quickly, unless somebody wants to see them up close. Um, I have the Knit-O-Graph, um, I don't know what, they're not pamphlets, instructions. So you can make the uh, Bucking Bronco there, knit o -graph. Then there's the, um, <laughs> the duck vests and sweaters <laughs> from knit o -graph. We This one is um, more toys. So how to knit toys, fun little or crochet toys. 
<laughs> I have to look what's in here. Yeah. Oh, we got a little loose piece in there, but I'll just include it as it was. Um, the page it's opening up to isn't isn't the most fun page, but well, yeah. Um, so we've got like bears and children with no anything, nothing but eyes, things like that <laughs> in that one. And in this one, we have, I like this one, original doll patterns. This is cool because this is going into um, Barbie territory with some of these. Um, so vintage Barbie crocheted outfits. Did you ever get those as a child? Um, look at that. <laughs> I had a, I had Barbie outfits that were knit. I don't remember how I got them, but I would always end up with knit outfits like these. <laughs> So uh, there's other types of dolls in here too, I believe. But here's some more. Look at this Santa Claus coat. <laughs> so it's showing you how to make all these fun clothing items for your dolls. And then up next we have actually this is has no cover, but I'm throwing it in here. It's a ladies. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, ladies circle knitting and crochet guide and it's got some great vintage ads in it and that's kind of a big reason why i decided to keep these in a lot because of the ads as per usual um but it's literally all pretty much all instructions with a few cool retro uh pictures inside with the, fun, the retro pictures are worth it honestly sometimes <laughs> so there's that um yeah just the, the patterns of the time. Oh, look at those. The bold rug. What year was this? Um, oh, look at that. Oops. <laughs> so what year? I don't think I can get the year. Because... Nope, I don't see it. <laughs> All right, so the next one is same type of magazine. So it's going to have the same type of uh, stuff going on in the inside. Cool retro pictures. Here's a, <laughs> a place setting that you can knit. <laughs> that sounds yummy. Um, let's see, what else? These great groovy, <laughs> almost Harry Potter-like on that one, isn't it? That really looks like Harry Potter. I mean, not her, but the colors and stuff. <laughs> Hi, Marcy. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and then I think we have a couple more in this lot I'm trying to go through it as fast as I can I like this just for the pictures look at those groovy shawls I keep saying groovy but oh my goodness those look like really cozy actually can shawls become a thing again <laughs> and, and it's literally just you know the colors and or I'm sorry the yarn <clears throat> That you'll need in the instructions excuse me i am so sorry i wonder if i drank some one second <laughs> something with a little bit more thickness than water to it <laughs> all right now these are actually getting quite a bit older um uh, i don't know when they're from but and it's, they're very much falling apart. Again, this is a rescue mission. These were actually my elderly neighbors that she gave to me um, to do whatever I wanted with. So Jack Frost sweaters for boys and girls. I don't know if I can open this. <laughs> it's really, it's really page by page. It's not held together, but you're getting this beautiful old imagery. Um, it's <laughs> very hard to flip through, obviously. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that back together. And we have some school time sweaters that are a lot of fun. Back in the day, we've got some ballerinas and baseball. And what else we have? Uh, can't see. A rocket ship. <laughs> and so, again, it's just the patterns for these particular sweaters. So, you know, not a lot to see. Just showing you how to make these fun children's sweaters. And here's the back. Same as the front, actually. <laughs> And finally, this I just tossed in there. I think it's more modern, but why not? Um, I taught myself to crochet. <laughs> so 
I'm assuming this is supposed to help you learn to crochet. Yeah, finishing techniques, things like that. Yep, increasing, decreasing. It's telling you all these uh, different types of uh, ways to crochet. So if you want to learn, if you can learn this way, <laughs> um, it's it'd be really handy for you. But if you don't learn this way, which I don't learn this way, <laughs> it might not. So that's everything in that lot. So again, we're just going to pop all these back in bag really quickly so I'm not in a pile <laughs> when I'm done I actually know somebody who does some really cool scrapbooking and I don't think she's here today she's not really able to make it to a lot of lives um, she's not she's not somebody here on YouTube um, and I'm thinking I might send these to her because she's super 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 cool scrapbooking things she I think she'd have some use for some of that Okay, we're moving on to a book. <laughs> Which oh, you do have that book? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> did it, did it help? Did it help you learn to crochet? <laughs> so a wry hair here going on. <laughs> All right. Let's see. This cover is worse for wear. What do I have a price on this one? Um, this one is also starting at five, so we'll leave it right on the screen. Like I said, the cover is worse for wear, but it is, what does it actually say? It is needlepoint design projects. There we go. And so obviously this is a whole conglomeration of some of the things you can do here on the cover and on the back, very sixties, seventies. This one's my, whoops, this one's my favorite right here. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> and this was published in 1974. Let's take the cover off so you can see what it looks like without a cup, the ripped up cover. <laughs> it's just actually a basic brown, brown book. But inside, did I leave that on screen? Yeah, I did. Inside we have projects. <laughs> I just opened up to this one. Let's see. Well, it's the clown face tote bag. I thought it was a, a jack-o'-lantern. But so they have this project in there. Um, again, this is a needlepoint. Uh, let's see. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> and some mushrooms on, and uh, what is it? A tote bag and a pillow there. Yep. And some eucalyptus. And, you know, there's just a lot of fun designs throughout here. There's a big sunflower here. There, there's a lot of flower patterns. Uh, this one's probably my favorite. It's the owl. <laughs> so, I mean, again, without flipping through everything, let's get, uh, let me show you the pictures at the beginning because there's some colored pictures here. You already saw that one too. Okay, so this is one you haven't seen yet. <laughs> this is the projects you can do. Look at this tiger pillow. <laughs> They love the Qbert pillow over there. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a good page. Oh my gosh. Look at Jonah and the whale. <laughs> oh, and then they've got like a little Miss Muffet and Hickory Dickory Duck and all, all the nursery rhymes. <laughs> and then look at this. Look how fun. <laughs> Honestly, I just like to take this up again. Yes, I do. I ship from Maine. Yep. <laughs> oh, look. It's, oh, I thought we had a lobster. I was going to say, oh my gosh, that's too funny. There's there's some like sea life uh, pictures in here uh, that you can put on your pillow. <laughs> so I'm going to move along the cover back on that one. And decorating with needlepoint is our next one. Also starting at five. I'm trying to try to keep it. I don't think I have anything about. Well, I have a couple things about five, but I try to keep everything around there. Um, this is how you can use your needlepoint to decorate with it. I love this chair. Whoops. Gosh darn it. This chair. <laughs> it almost looks like a miniature though, doesn't it? And this is from 1975. That this came out the year I was born. Um, here's the back. Give you an idea. 
I love the idea of somebody's like trying to do a seventies house or whatever, and they're trying to get really authentic things and even just having authentic books of that era. I, I, oh, I love the idea of that. So there's a leaf pattern backgammon board, which you can do with needlepoint. <laughs> a game board, game board with needlepoint. <laughs> that must be interesting. Um, let's see. I think it's, let's see. See, I'm trying to find a better picture here. I always tell myself I'm going to put a little tab on the pages that are more fun to look at. Butterfly serving tray. So they put that under Lucite. That's fun. I like the Lucite in and of itself. Let's see. What else do we have? Um, some of the patterns that you can use. Let's see. I'm trying to find bigger pictures. There we go jungle animal scene <laughs> really pretty I like the designs I, I, I like the old vintage designs I really do so um, that's pretty much it I mean there's just a lot of different types of projects throughout uh, where again where I'll, wherever <laughs> you can decorate with needlepoint which is pretty much everywhere you can so I'm going to move on and I have another bag of things, which I believe is five. <laughs> yep, starting at five. This is all cross stitch. Um, I'm going to move them through them very quickly here. Does anybody do cross stitch? <laughs> That's the question. I actually, I do, I used to do it. I can do it. I could do it, I guess. Um, I just need the kit, a kit that I want to do, I think. But anyway, so we have uh, Muppets and Stitches Seasons of Love. <laughs> Again, I mean, if you want to just use these for imagery, they're pretty funny. <laughs> but uh, technically, if you gave me the if you gave me the canvas and the the thread, I could do this. I could I could make any one of these. <laughs> just don't have the time. Or I do. Yeah, no, I don't have the time. I just can't sit still either. So, but you know, it shows inside. I could I could absolutely do this. I've I've done several. It's making me want to do it. I miss doing it. <laughs> Maybe not, maybe not the the Muppets, but maybe I should do it by like a real small one, because I used to, I really used to enjoy it. There's pictures of me even doing it. So, all right. So, and then also in this lot, we'll know if, if Catherine's here in a second. Second, Garfield. <laughs> uh, so we have a Garfield cross stitch. She loves, she loves Garfield. Um. There's Odie in some of these different cross stitches, but um, anyway, there's the patterns on the inside. It's what these all look like. Um, so we have, um, it's kind of hard to show you up close, but we've got Garfield with a, with a rainbow. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. There we go. Garfield with balloons, Garfield riding Odie. Look how 80s, look how 80s with that eyelet lace. <laughs> Hi, Catherine. <laughs> I'm like, I know she likes Garfield. <laughs> I always wanted that one. I never got the sitting one. I never got that one. I always wanted that one. <laughs> I did get Odie and a different version of Garfield, but <laughs> it's too funny. Um, and I believe, yeah, his very first book was read like this, and it did say Big Fat Harry Deal on the on the front of it. So anyway, Garfield cross stitch. <laughs> um and then i have this apple or i'm sorry angel dumpling these christmas ones oh gosh you guys make me want to cross stitch <laughs> i miss doing this it's not hard it really isn't it's just, i mean your eyes have to be good which mine aren't anymore but i used to find it very soothing and of course, it's, it's the patterns and the colors and the you know the floss that you'll need and all that sort of thing on the inside. Nothing, nothing exciting except what you might want for patterns, which are right here. Here we go. He's got his little candy cane outfit. He's so cute. <laughs> that looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, <laughs> and then we have down a country road. Yeah, down a country road, and I believe this is—is is this needlepoint or is this? Yeah, this is cross stitch as well. 
just these really, really, <laughs> really simplistic but cute designs. Very country, of course, as it indicates. Um, this has got to be 80s. Yeah, 19, 1983. Yeah, so cute. Country cooking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Would you guys buy these if I cross stitched them myself? <laughs> I need to, yeah, why? Oh, that's, that will be helpful. Four times magnifier. Absolutely. I'm trying to think like, what could I cross stitch myself? That would be, that'd be something you'd want, you guys would want to buy from me. <laughs> I don't know what I could cross stitch, but I think you, would get, you can even make your own patterns. Like I would love to do that. So um, Yvonne said something about me doing a smiley face one. So I need to get me a smiley face uh, kit. <laughs> Although I could probably figure it out myself, but a kit would show me a little better. So there's the country road scenes or whatever. And then these aren't cross stitch, but I'm putting it with a lot. This is yarnimals. Do you remember these, you guys, with the plastic canvas and you squeeze the cheeks and you can put it like a Hershey's kiss in there or a note or whatever. You can put a little loop on their head and make them Christmas ornaments. Um, there's all sorts of animals and people that look uh, scarecrow right there with a Hershey kiss as well. Um, all sorts of animals and things that people have done with these. There's a bigger one. I loved these when I was a kid. I could not resist squeezing these things. I don't think they're all that hard to make, to be honest. So the contents, we have a yellow bird, a dragon, a chicken, a donkey, a fox, a scarecrow, a penguin, a panda, a raccoon, and a rooster. And then it tells you how to cut it, the plastic canvas, to, to do these things, and then how to you know, stitch them together to make these funny um, yarn animals. <laughs> Oh, these are fun stocking stuffers too. I've got to say, just you know, pull out one of these and there's a Hershey kiss. Too cute. <laughs> and then is that it? Oh, yeah, that was it. No, no, that's not it. Sorry, there's actually a couple more in this lot. This is, let's see, teach yourself bar. I can't even read that. Bar cells or bar gels. Step by step instructions for stitches and projects. So it has these awesome, awesome pillows and like. Uh, eyeglass case or whatever that is on the front here it's showing these really cool patterns on the back i absolutely love <laughs> these patterns they're so cool so retro and again it's for people who know how to do these projects so it's definitely a crafting guide for somebody who can already do this <laughs> i don't think it's for somebody who's new to it yeah, I think that's a, a glasses case. Remember those? That one's got a nice little button on it. Still like find these once in a while thrifting. Pre oh, cross stitch pre coder. I didn't see that, Catherine. Oh, that's cool. Oh, is that a, like a is it a a website? Silly question, probably. <laughs> that's that sounds like a good idea. I would like to do that actually. Um, and then. My final one here, it is uh, Barbara, jo Barbara Johansson, Favorite Pets in Charted Designs. And I'm trying to understand if this is needlepoint. It's needlepoint, I think. It is, it's really, by the pictures, it's very hard to tell, and it's not actually saying needlepoint, I don't think. One minute, let me look here. No, plain half cross stitch. Hmm. Well, anyway, <laughs> anyway, as I try to figure this out. Oh, pre-order. Okay. Oh, oh, I got it. Got, got it. Cool. I will look into that. So it's favorite prints, uncharted designs, little sweet kitty kissing a dog. There's some designs in the back there. Um, this one's my favorite right here. <laughs> Just captures the essence of a cat washing its foot. A lot of cat ones really sweet. I would, I would love any of these as a pillow, any of these, probably particularly, uh, the Siamese, but so fun. Um, and once again, it is the patterns that are in there for you. So it's just telling you where to put the colors. It's almost like, it's almost like color by number, to be honest with you. That's what cross stitching is with me. There goes my chat again. <laughs> So it's just little X's or little loops or whatever it is they want you to make. Um, it's actually quite soothing if you like it. So that is that lot. Put that away. 
I'm coming to some, I'm, I'm losing viewers, but I'm coming to some really cool um, books here. Um, I should have started with those. All right. So we have, let's, let's, let's this one things together. Um, I don't know. I have this written down. Oh gosh. Oh, well, here it is. This is going to start at $3. All right, did that work? Yeah. Um, and it is decorative painting, toll and Dutch, plain and plain jean, a sampler. Interesting. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read. Anyway, the cover is really sweet in and of itself. And I love Dutch painting. I love um, anything Pennsylvania Dutch too. It's super sweet to me uh, i don't have relatives from there i don't think but um so it's just showing how to their style of how to paint on things like cans and and scales and what have you the beginning there but let me get some nice pictures so at the end is like showing the little sayings and the patterns there's a clown but <laughs> i'm gonna show you this side here there we go Do, do biz to mine baby. <laughs> Pennsylvania Dutch. Yeah. Really sweet magazine or not magazine. I never know what to call these instruction books. I don't know. <laughs> so there's the different patterns there. So that one is $3. Um, I thought I had some better pictures. Here we go. Uh, showing how to make the flowers, I think actually is really important if you're trying to uh, master that is their their technique with the flowers because that's very prevalent in their designs so we're going to move on from there <clears throat> we have a doll making book and that one is starting at four start oops start at four and this is, these are these are scary so <laughs> here's a warning uh for pleasure and profit um the dolls are um i mean i guess it's in the eye of the beholder but um <laughs> uh i'll just let the pictures speak for themselves um here's the back <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> looks like the nutcracker there um i just thought it was hilarious actually <laughs> looking at the pictures so that's the front and back. Um, somebody wrote Nash at the beginning. There's just some pictures in there that, are, that you could use for Halloween. I mean, <laughs> they're a little bit, you know, unnerving some of these. So I just, I got a kick out of this. So I thought you guys might too. Um, of course, doll making is going to be funny at certain points here. Um, here's some eyelashes and some hair. <laughs> it's actually a neat look at it. <clears throat> Yeah, they have seen some things. <laughs> um, here's that one that looks a little concerned at the beginning. She's actually pretty cute. I like her little dress and hat. So little ways to make these dolls. Um, yeah, that first picture I showed was, uh, ooh. Uh, let's see if we've got anything else here. This is Lady. <laughs> I don't know. You could be looking to make any kind of doll, so... <laughs> Anyway, we're going to move on from the doll book. <laughs> a little scary. And so on to the Singer sewing machine. Wait. Yeah, we're going to start at six on this one. And did I put the year on that one? Yeah, this was from 1972. It's, it's heavy, but um, it's um, media mail, remember, on this, this type of thing. because There's no advertisement in here. How mod is this? I'm, I'm in love with the colors. Well, you saw it was on the, the cover or the thumbnail. Um, I love this <laughs> just for the cover. Like I would have it sitting just like that. There is a rip on the back, unfortunately, um, right there, there. Um, really, really bright, beautiful designs going on in here. They only use, <clears throat> I'm going to open this. They only use like certain colors. I'll show you. So in this section, they only use blue. 
to illustrate um, you know, their sewing patterns or sewing and instructions. And then in this section, they only use green. <laughs> and of course, it's so on. I only use orange in this one. It's um, yellow. <laughs> I'll tell you what's in the uh, table of contents here. Oh, maybe not. Holy cow. Okay, it's talking about um, fitting as you sew, seams, 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 underlining and lining, darts, tucks, and gathers, buttonholes and tears. So it's literally really showing you. Um, success with curtains, lining a sheer skirt, all sorts of things if you want to learn sewing. And the, the contents, even the, if in the table of contents page, it's like cool, bright colors. So again, oh, I had the wrong price up on the screen there, but um, that was starting at six if anybody was interested in that, um, even just as a, as a coffee table sort of, uh, whoops, sort of deal. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, can we see? I was looking like for a swung vase in the corner or something. <laughs> so some great vintage pictures in the back. Oops, in the back here as well. All righty. Oh, wow. Brighten your room with slip covers. <laughs> the the ubiquitous, ubiquitous floral uh, chair there. All right, moving on. Moving on. <clears throat> oh, trying to close it. <laughs> without messing up the book cover. There we go. All right, here's my favorite stuff we got coming here. <laughs> it is, let's see, this one's gonna start at eight, actually. Um, no, it's not. You know what? No, it's not gonna start, it's gonna start at five. <laughs> this is my favorite one out of everything, actually, because it's not actually really a, a book, it's, it's graphic source clip art, holidays. Um, I'll try to grab a year off of this, but it looks 80s possibly to me, but there are some really fun cl clip art uh, graphics in here. So let me get it. It's like Christmas and Halloween. Here we go. Do you remember clip art? <laughs> we used to use these things when we make um, yearbook pa uh, pages back in the day. Xerox these and then put these little clip art bits into our yearbooks to spice them up. Or at least at my school we did. I don't know. Every school did that. <laughs> um, wrong number on the screen. There we go. Got Santa Claus. We have, I mean, there's just a lot of Christmas ones. So we'll get through that. But um, we've got some Thanksgiving imagery. There are a couple pages where somebody decided to, um, oh, <laughs> yeah, me too um color a couple pictures for some reason um see if i can find one. Oh wait we got to do this halloween one first because look at the skeleton <laughs> these are fun definitely 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 you could add your i mean they don't have to have these faces these kids you can do anything you want, you want to the clip art you can make it your own um what was i looking for um yeah so here's a page where somebody decided to color it which also, this could just be used as a coloring book, honestly, if somebody wanted to do that. <laughs> so somebody did do that, but they did a pretty good job. <laughs> and, um, you know, 4th of July, uh, patriotic things at the beginning here. Um, some Christian imagery at the beginning. Uh, we have the, the first of the year clip art. And, well, somebody colored in a lady. This just might be a fun coloring book, to be honest with you. But Abraham Lincoln. So this could be just one of those books that you just kind of tear apart for what it's got inside it. But I'm going to move on. We're almost to the end. Um, this one is super cool. Um, I have a price on this one. I'm just, just going to keep it at five. I'm just going to keep it at five. So I'm not sure when this was from, but the clip art is... It's weird. I've never seen anything like this before. So hold on one second. Let me see if I can find the date. <laughs> eh, never mind. It, it seems 80s though. Let me get a good page for you. 
because it has just these weird like mid-century designs i'm trying to find a good page i was just on one yeah it has these weird mid-century designs but I, I don't understand this book i'll show you the cover in a second it's it's like shiny these pages but this is the clip art they have in here so it's it, well it's letterhead designs so i guess i never used letterhead and had to use one of those things so i guess it's for businesses but there's just a whole bunch of different interesting designs in here like it's things i have never seen before <laughs> very mid-century there that's my favorite one right that one right there <laughs> so what else do we have um, then we have like regular clip art in the front, but again, it's kind of these unusual things that they chose. <laughs> and then pages like this, which I find interesting. Obviously, you know, it, it's older letterhead designs. Um, I, Cause I can picture that on like stationery or something now that I'm thinking about it. It's neat. It's neat to look at those. Yeah, it's just different. And the way it's laid out, it's weird. It's just these long pages. So however they had to use these back in the day. So I'm going to move on. <laughs> and let's see. These are together. And these are starting at five as well. Yes, that's what I was thinking. I, I was thinking it would be great to scan. And because uh, I mean, it's, yeah, absolutely. And there, I mean, you can play around with it too. There's so many in there that you can kind of play around with the designs that are in there as well. So, um, so these are together. We'll just, we'll start at five, like everything else. These are really, really, really weird children's uh, projects. <laughs> like they're just, I don't know what happened, but um, it, they're strange. And I, I, again, I just thought I'd bring them because they were funny. Um, let, me, let me see where I can start. <laughs> like, I don't even know. Okay, so that's a turkey, I guess. <laughs> With paper plates. Like, it's, it's kitsch. It's beyond kitsch. It's like kitsch crafting, but even a step beyond that. <laughs> Any floral books? I um i don't i'm sorry i wish i did it's a good thing to look for though just like just for the flowers themselves um this lady's basket weaving <laughs> uh these little animals spring animals he's making i mean they, they tell you how to do it <laughs> this is gonna be from the 60s i'm getting 60s vibes um, personal Valentine's, but I don't know. There's something about these pictures that are cracking me up. It's just like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It, just, it looks like it wasn't very hard to make many of these crafts, <laughs> which makes sense. But like some of them like this, I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, it's paper mache. Okay. <laughs> Something about it cracks me up, like I said. So, and the other one is kind of the same deal. This one's quite beaten up, but it's um, from Highlights. And if you guys remember Highlights magazines as children, oh, okay. <laughs> um, a lot of fun uh, magazine. I loved that magazine. So they have some fun, again, kind of silly crafts in here for children. But again, you don't have to be a child to make these child's crafts. So um, let's see. Um... So what did I find? I have some good pictures in the beginning. Like, <laughs> puppets from drive-in throwaways, throwaways. <laughs> oh my gosh, hey, it's recycling, right? It's upcycling. <laughs> you do? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> um. Let's see. Oh, I just saw a cat. Where did it go? Well, this is funny too. How to make a like an octopus out of a paper plate. These are fun projects for kids that you could, you know, sorry, we could easily throw together if you had little kids around. Be like, here's a paper plate. Col color it. 
<laughs> I loved highlights too. Yes, yes, I did too. I read them at the dentist as well. Um, and then it's just kind of showing in the back some of the more projects. I mean, they're you know basically cardboard and toilet paper tube types of projects. But if you've got little ones around, um, that looks like twilling. That's a little bit harder. Circle bird. I don't want to. They they didn't call it twilling, but it kind of is the circle bird. That one's pretty good. That I'd make that one. <laughs> Hello, Devin. Good to see you. Hi. I don't think I've seen you here before. Excuse me. Scratching my nose. <laughs> the crafts. Oh, yeah. You're looking for anything? Crafts books? Let me know. I'll, I'll show them again. Um, so, yeah, the two of them together um, would be $5, <laughs> starting at 5 on these two really funny, quirky uh, kids' crafts books <laughs> that I think even I could do, to be honest. I don't. This is like an acorn and rock animal thing I guess you can do there 127 anytime crafts kids can make all right so moving on it makes me think if I ever if I ever do uh if I get myself to do a crafty Friday with Helen one of these days get up or else get into one of these really easy ones <laughs> onto these <laughs> okay so we have a book on bookmaking starting at five leaving it right on the screen literally telling you how to bind books. Um, I actually took a course in this in college. Um, I really enjoyed it. I actually learned how to do it this way too. I just haven't done it in so long. I actually graduated college 20 years ago. So <laughs> it's been a while, but you can do these like accordion style um, books, which we were also taught, <laughs> which are the easiest. Um, let's see. This tells you how to bind, just exactly the steps, how to do it. Hi, Yvonne. Good to see you. <laughs> Want to learn how to bind a book? Or, uh, yeah. Creative techniques for making beautiful books, journals, and albums. There we go. There we go. And then um, I love that they use like this mulberry paper. It's fake mulberry paper, but it's like the, the design of mulberry paper. I used to use that so much in the 90s. It was like, I don't know. And that's when I was doing the book binding. So it's kind of fitting the, of the times there. <laughs> um, so let's see. They even show you how to make pop-up books, um, you know, books from natural materials and things like that. So I'm going to move on. I learned book binding in college art class. Yeah. It, yes. Yeah. So did we. Yeah. It sounds like we almost made, took the same course. <laughs> I really love that class. I, I still have all my books that I made too. And they, they kind of cracked me up because one of them I did about the car that I was driving at the time and I made the, the cover look like the hood or I tried <laughs> the cover of the book make the look like the hood of my car, but it didn't. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Hi, Leanne. Good to see you. I am so sorry about my nose itching. It just won't stop. It won't stop itching. <laughs> I think it's when you can't scratch it. So, you know, you can't. No. <laughs> Did I miss anybody? No. Okay. All right. Let's see. So uh, moving on, starting at five. This is the Make It Yourself, the complete step-by-step -step library of needlework and crafts book. <laughs> I just like it for the clothes. I think the clothes are super, super fun to look at. Always do. I actually have been picking up more and more. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing this. Maybe I feel a trend coming on. I don't know. But I keep picking up the polyester blouses every, like if usually, you know, at the bins or whatever, but because you're not seeing them on the racks <laughs> in the store usually. Um, but I am buying those 70s polyester blouses for some reason. I've got like three or four of them going now. I don't know why. <laughs> but I just, I have a feeling. I have a feeling, a fashion feeling. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. Oh, it's just because looking at the pictures in here, it's fun to see the old clothing. But look at this kitty in the chair. It's really sweet. <laughs> so it's telling you how to do the pillows, by the way. And this is quite um, detailed, this book. Uh, it has these like inner panel pamphlets, dressmaking pattern, things like that within within it as well. I don't know if they belong in here, but they're there. Um, so here's this lady and her vest and her butterfly collar. <laughs> so again, it's just telling you how to make all these different fashions. Yeah, like every one of these seems to have one of these little blue pages attached to it. Look at the pants. I could never, I was never that tall. I couldn't carry that up. <laughs> oh gosh. 
And in the back here, let's see if I can, it's got some fun stuff, like a, a Christmas countdown calendar. I have something sort of semi-similar to this that I used, used to use. I try to bring it out, but those are really fun. Those are really fun and not hard to make, just cutting felt with those. Um, super cool rug. I love this. I love this. I love this. It's a geometric rug, but it's in squares, so you can make different patterns. So you just have to, oh, that is a cool idea, but I guess it wouldn't stay together. <laughs> but it looks cool. <laughs> oh, thank you, Leanne. <laughs> thank you. I, I just try to wear like the quirky stuff. Yvonne, did you notice? <laughs> Decided to wear the lobster shirt today. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah. There's a delayed reaction. I just read what you said. Yeah, <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> My mom used to wear this brown and like beige and, you know, 70s colors uh, puzzle shirt. It was just all puzzle pieces. And she still has it somewhere. And I'm like, Mom, I want to wear it. Like, <laughs> it's, it had a, I think, a necktie with it and everything. So if I can get her to let me have her <laughs> polyester shirts she won't wear again, I would love it. <laughs> so I'm going to set this one aside. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Leah. <laughs> okay, um, this is Practical Macrame. We'll just start it at five. Oh, actually, did I have it less than that? No, we started at four. Started at four on that one. Start four on that one. Oh, there goes my chat. I'm sorry. That's why I'm staring at the screen. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. Maybe you'll come today. Thank you. <laughs> he does. Oh, that's funny. That's too funny. I think, did I pick up some? I, th I feel like I picked up some. I gave them to my brother, something like that. But, so this is Practical Macrame. I love the outfits in this one. It, the front pages, a couple pages are coming out, unfortunately. But um, the vibe on this so whoa ho <laughs> um let's see i'm just gonna take out like since it's falling out already here we go look at her <laughs> and all her macrame glory on her milk milk jugs <laughs> and the wall art behind her so 70s um and then a little bit a little bit risque but she's got a crochet bikini on which would totally be cool these days i could see people wearing those <laughs> i just love the pictures just as like a, a coffee table book you know oh thank you colleen thank you appreciate it always good to know that you're there <laughs> i think this is gorgeous that kind of that grecian whoops now that's not sticking there anymore either <laughs> As you can see the glue, yeah. But she, this is stunning. I love this. I, I couldn't wear it, but I love it. <laughs> that is a power stance. And that's also, did I shave this more? <laughs> so let's see if we have anything on the inside here. Yeah, a lot of it is showing you the, the stitches and things like that. So, but the fun, the fun, um, looking at the fun outfits uh, is just the best part for me. Look at this bag. Macrame shoulder purse. That would have gone to Woodstock in a heartbeat. <laughs> I love it. So, and there's your bikini bottoms. <laughs> so, that's that for the um, macrame book. Let's see. Yeah, the handbag is really cool. I really like it. I feel like, I feel like it would, I don't know. I'd want the fringes a little bit shorter, but then I wouldn't have the same cool look. <laughs> so I think that's everything. Is that everything? Yep, yeah, that's everything. Um, I can do a recap or if anybody's interested in, you know, at this point, I don't mind even lotting something, lotting things together and still having it be like the, you know, the $5 price. And um, this is going to be most, I think, I don't think anything has advertisement in it. I don't think so. Most of it would be media mail. Um, so if anybody saw anything along the way, they were like, mm, I, I wouldn't mind lotting things together. Cause I think, yeah, after this, these are just being donated. Cause I, I don't really don't want to hang on to them 
uh, books are heavy <laughs> to hang on to. Oh, you did. Okay. I will check that. Thank you so much. And I will set those aside. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, it's hard for me to it's hard for me to take this one back, like these ones back to Goodwill because it's super, super cool. Okay. <laughs> that's a coffee table book, but um, yeah, that's, that's, I think that's the best option. And yeah, the rest of them are just going to going to move along to make room for more things. I actually have been going, like I said, I've been going through my craft things and I realized I had a lot of books and a lot of craft things and it was like too much for one sale. <laughs> so I decided to lot out the books and do one sale on that. And then next week it will be the, the unique items craft sale, which I will probably be adding little things as I go throughout the week. Um, and now if you weren't here earlier, I just want to show you a sneak peek of what will be coming for like a craft lot. Um, so I have this uh, group of things that I put together. Something might not have sold at one of my sale. This is a cup and saucer that did not sell at my sale, but I thought looked really lovely with the craft lot. So maybe somebody could make assemblage with this. Um, okay, thank you, Devin. I'll put you down. Book binding and macrame. Bind and macrame, Devin. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and yeah, and it'll be like this the one price of five dollars, like like everything else was. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so um there's the cup, and then I have like this black cat in there, and I have this interesting, I don't really know what to call this, just edging for pillows and things like that. There's this nice, really soft lace in here. There's some sequin like patch patch type things this is just a book that uh, a book the back I think yeah the back of a book that fell off but I thought it'd be great for Halloween crafting there was just I could just see this as a base for something lovely so um that will be coming to my next sale is um little things like that and then just like straight up craft supplies like vintage yarn and and all sorts of different things to be honest with there's like too much to list it's like this just weird variety of craft supplies so so but this was fun to put together i enjoy putting that one together for some reason i like theming things so i keep saying so so <laughs> you remember those times in those photos yeah yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> yes the uh i only have one package of vintage yarn and it's it's all together and it's like this it's this really baby soft thin yarn like even the the, the skeins of it or whatever they're called were just little and it's this children's aspirin orange <laughs> color that i've i have never seen ever except in this yarn i can't even describe this shade of orange <laughs> so uh sport weight sport weight sport weight I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not putting the two and two together for some reason. <laughs> Sport. Oh, the the light, the yarn. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like the only color I could think of. I should have brought it in here with me because it is just like whoa. <laughs> so um, those sorts of things are coming next week. I've had crafting supplies sale kind of in the works forever. And I think after that, what's coming is probably a big children's toy sale and children's book sale, which might be a two-parter as well, and a, a guy guy sale. Um, so like a lot of tobacco tins and things like that in that sale. Um, I put guy in quotes. Uh, so um, anyway, that's that's what's coming, and uh, you know, there's whatnot things in the works and a bunch of other things again as usual t being talked about but I don't like to say things until they're um completely uh kind of nailed hammered in stone whatever you want to call it <laughs> set in stone all the, all the phrases so uh that's it and again if anybody sees anything they like after the sale just shoot me an email um again I'm still not on Instagram <laughs> They still don't believe it's me when I send a selfie. I'm going to send one today because I've got my makeup on. I'm going to, I'll try again. <laughs> Cat train too. Yes, that is coming at the end of the... Oh, gosh. 
I don't have the date written down. It's this month though, <laughs> Cat Train 2. Um, oh gosh, Yvonne, I've, I've found some more things that are so much fun. This is the worst, best and worst thing for me to source for because <laughs> I love cats, but then I, I love cats. <laughs> so I'm just like, I have to part with this. I have to part with this. I have to part with this. <laughs> so it's, it's letting it go. The 25th. All right, yes. August 25th, there will be the Cat Train 2 hosted by Kate, Follow That Bug Vintage. With the same crew, uh, I believe, with at least one more person added on, I think, uh, this time. But I don't want to say for sure if it's not right. Um, very much looking forward to it. It was so much fun. Um, really having fun finding quirky, kooky cat things. Um, at first, I was like, oh, I need to find mid-century. I need to find... The Actually, the quirky, funny, fun stuff is... Um, it's it's fun to bring along. Like, I had cat butt magnet magnets um the last time and uh I don't know I think a lot of people got a kick out of it so anyway I'm gonna let you guys go um I'm sure Kathy's having a sale by now or someone is so I will see you next week I believe yep if all goes to plan I will see you next week with the second half of the crafting sale so um I think that's it that's it yep see you guys hopefully very soon oh wait teaser wait 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 kathy don't stop you said you're gonna do this <laughs> hit the brakes wait a minute i will be popping up at some point within the week to show you guys a collection that i have if you're interested in seeing it i'm just gonna give one hint and it should be probably the all the hint you need it's it's a collection and it's pink <laughs> and it's re really relevant right now. So there's going to be a pop-up of a collection that I have of something coming up soon. So keep an eye out for that because I've even i already done the thumbnail and everything. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> All right. See you guys next uh, soon. <laughs> keep an eye out. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> see you later.